groups tonight. Police are actively searching for a man wanted for a shooting earlier this year in Rochester. After being spotted today, that suspect led U.S. Marshals and Monroe County deputies on a chase. Alex Love joins us live at the scene where the chase ended. This is North Street just past Clifford Avenue in Rochester. Alex, what can you tell us at this hour? So it all began earlier today when a man matching the description of the suspect was seen getting into a vehicle with two other individuals, prompting local authorities to call in U.S. Marshals for assistance. But when they initially pulled over the vehicle, the car then sped off once federal agents approached it. The chase then went across town, ending here on North Street past the Clifford Avenue intersection when the suspects crashed. One was taken into custody while two others, including the man wanted for a shooting back in May, fled on foot. With the help of Rochester police, authorities set up a perimeter to search on foot and up in the air with the help of a chopper circling the neighborhoods. But so far, both suspects remain at large. When the vehicle crashed, we had enough officers that actually uh, pursued, saw, saw the individuals run. And uh, we've gone yard to yard. We continue to go yard to yard, but uh, we're remaining hopeful that he's in our perimeter. And uh, we'll know here shortly. At this time, no other arrests have been made, but the investigation is ongoing, though the scene here on North Street has been cleared. It was also learned once the suspects crashed that the vehicle they were in was stolen earlier from the town of Pittsford. Live in Rochester, Alex Love, News 8. All right, a chaotic scene indeed, Alex. Thank you. Now, we should note, while in pursuit, an unmarked police car crashed into a parked car on Norton Street, but the officer was not hurt, nor was anyone else.